So if we were going to talk about increase, if we were going to talk about concavity, we want to know where what the graph f double prime would look like, right? Now there's a couple things that's important about this graph. First of all, we can't take the derivative of those kind of three points, right? Because you could say we have a corner or a cuff at those three points. So if we're given f prime and we want to find f double prime, we wouldn't be able to differentiate at those points, right? So those are possible points of inflection. Okay, those are going to be our possible points of inflection because we can't differentiate. It's undefined at those points. We can't differentiate at those values. We also want to take a look at our slopes. And um, I'm sorry, and then another point where our derivative would be equal to 0, right? Because if we we're going to differentiate at prime, that creates another 0. So we have three possible points of inflection. x equals negative 4, x equals negative 1, x equals 3, and x equals 5. Again, the reason why these are possible points of inflection, negative 4, 3, and 5 are all non-differentiable at those points. So they'd be undefined. The second derivative would be undefined. You can't differentiate at those cuffs and corners, right? And negative 1 is a possible point of inflection because that creates a horizontal tangent. That's where the a second derivative would be equal to 0, correct? Right? Because your second derivative is horizontal tangent line. Your slope is negative. So to determine which one is actually a point of inflection or not, we need to look at their slopes. Well, because remember, the slope would be the second derivative. This is f prime. We want to look at what the slopes are would be, which would be f double prime. Well, the slopes, positive, positive, negative, positive, negative. So you can see that at, at negative 1, you're changing from positive to negative. Is that a point of inflection? Of course it is. At 3, you're changing from negative to positive, point of inflection. At 5, you're changing from positive to negative, inflection. But do you guys see how here we're changing from positive to positive? Even though it is a point of inflection, um, it's a possible point of inflection. It is actually not a possible point of inflection because your concavity would not be changing by at any 